Well, hi, Oakley. Everybody's worried about you. We're gonna show them how you're feeling. Sound like a plan? Answer some questions? Sounds like a plan. We're gone to the snow dogs. So for those of you that may have missed it, last week, Monday, Oakley bloated for her third time and she had to go in and have emergency surgery to correct her stomach that had flipped. Today is technically six days. Yeah, because today is Sunday. You guys will see this on Monday. So it has been six days since her surgery. And as you can tell, she's up on her feet and doing pretty good. I can't let her dig though, because she's got a big incision. So I gotta watch for her to dig. She's not allowed to dig. You can't dig. Get out from under there. How do you tell a dog that loves to dig not to dig? <laughs> So a lot of you had a lot of questions about bloat and I've done a full video on what bloat is and I'll also put a link to that up in the cards and down in the video description below. But we're gonna answer a few of the questions that I saw coming through like during Fan Friday and on Twitter and everything else, you guys asking about Oakley and her bloat. A lot of you wanna know why did this happen again? For those of you that have been around for a while, you'll know that this is actually the third time Oakley bloated. This is the first time that her stomach actually twisted because of the bloat. Why did it happen again? You know, bloat is one of those things that you can do everything right and it can still happen. They say it's much more common in dogs that have high stress, not necessarily stress, but anxiety, dogs that are very anxious. And Oakley can be a very anxious dog. Even when we do everything right, feed her her small meals, try to keep her calm, don't run her, you know, an hour to two hours before or after eating, she still has anxiety that's just she always has she's a rescue dog and uh, she had a rough life so she does have anxiety a lot of times that's the main factor for bloat is anxiety that in deep chested breeds bloat's actually not that common in huskies so but as you can tell even from looking right here oakley is kind of deep chested so why did it happen we really don't know we were assuming it had to be i know that it had to be maybe related a little bit to anxiety. I had taken her to the vet earlier in the day, you know, and they kind of, they had to check a bump on her leg and stuff, so they held her still. So I'm sure, sure, I love you too. I'm sure her stress level went up and her anxiety level went up a little bit, but we can't say for 100% sure what actually caused it. So the next question that I saw a lot of you asking were, you know, how is Oakley, is she going to be okay? Because of the surgery, they did tack her stomach, which hopefully will make it so this doesn't happen again. It actually lessens the chance considerably. This was actually a surgery that Jamie and I had talked about having done as a preventative. We had talked about having it done because the last time she bloated was last year in August. We talked about having it done back then, and then she ended up getting cancer in December. So we wanted to wait until she was healed and then it was summertime and we didn't really want to have to do this in the summer because, you know, she'll get hot and uncomfortable. So we were kind of waiting until fall and apparently Oakley had other plans. She decided she was just gonna go ahead and bloat. Whoa, it's a big yawn! Go ahead and bloat and uh, move things along a little bit quicker. So the surgery should hopefully prevent this. Well, not necessarily prevent it, but lessen the chance of it happening again. Hi, babe, how's it going? How are you? I know. <laughs> So yeah, the surgery will actually, she can still bloat, but it drops it from like an 80% chance of happening again down to like a 20% chance of it happening again. And then even at that, her stomach won't be able to flip. So as, even though it'll still be an emergency and we'll have to get her to the vet, it won't be as life-threatening, if that makes sense. And it does make the risk of it happening again considerably lower, which is, which is really nice. So basically today we just wanted to make this video to kind of show you guys that Oakley is doing very well. She's recovering very well after her surgery. Like I said, it has only been six days. The first two days were definitely the hardest, but today she gets up and down the steps on her own. She's making it in and out on her own. She's eating really well. She's taking her medicine. She's on a pretty heavy dose of a lot of different medicines, but those actually all end, all except the painkillers, end tomorrow. So. Hopefully that will be good. I know a lot of you know that we're supposed to be going on a camping trip and if Oakley keeps getting better the way she has been, I think we're still gonna go. What do you think? Do you wanna go camping? You wanna go camping? Yeah. Oakley's like, I kinda wanna go camping. What about you, Shelby? Do you wanna go camping? Shelby's like, well, I kinda wanna go camping. And the other reason I wanted to make this video was to really say thank you. Thank you guys so much 
for all of your love and your support and your messages and your tweets and your kind words and everything about Oakley. All of our social media sites basically lit up. I mean, I know you guys were quite literally just as scared as we were. This was the closest I think we've ever come to actually losing her. It, we were scared. We were very scared. Don't you dig in that hole. We had this conversation. You can't dig until your incision is healed. She gets her staples out on Thursday at 1 o'clock. I'll probably be doing a vlog about that. And if you guys kind of want to see what's been going on the past couple days with her and her surgery, we do have a vlog channel. It's youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs. I know not everybody here is actually subscribed over there, but I'll put a link and you can go subscribe over there and kind of see a little bit more into the, I guess it'd be behind the scenes of our lives with the dogs. I guess that would be what it is, huh? So yeah, it's kind of what it is. Hey, we had this conversation. You cannot do that for a few more days. Can you just hold out a few more days for me? <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, we're gonna end this video. I don't wanna talk too long on it. If you have questions about bloat, what it is that I didn't end up answering in the other videos that I've done, leave them down in the comments and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try to answer as many comments as I can for you guys. Um, I've done a lot of research. I'm not an expert on bloat, but I've done a lot of research on it. So hopefully I'll be able to answer your questions. And uh, like I said, I'll try to answer as many as I can down in the comments. So leave us a comment. I guess this is kind of like another Fan Friday, but we're just looking for questions on bloat for this video. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. Oh, one more thing. Oh, limited edition Oakley t-shirts are still available. There'll be a link down in the video description for those as well. And for those of you that have asked, yes, we will be doing limited edition shirts of the other dogs as well. Can you tell everybody thank you for showing you so much love? All right, you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. I know. Shelby's like, you're not talking to me, Mom. You should talk to me. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Can you say bye? Say bye. Oh, all three of you? All right. Bye.